good morning children in our last class we have discussed about standard form of rational numbers what is standard form of rational number standard form of a rational number means remove the common factors from denominators and numerators and if the denominator is negative first of all we need to change that negative denominator into positive okay and how can we uh, convert negative denominator into positive denominator multiply the denominator and numerator by negative 1 okay and today we can discuss some more question first question is 33 by 33 by negative 77 here the denominator is negative it is negative 77 so first of all we have to change the denominator into positive how can we change we need to multiply the denominator by negative 1 okay denominator into negative 1 therefore we have to multiply the numerator also with the negative 1 so which is equal to 33 into negative 1 divided by negative 77 into negative 1 then 33 into negative 1 what is 33 into negative 1 it is negative 33 and 7 negative 77 into negative 1 it is positive 77 okay then now the denominator is positive now we need to remove the common factors from numerator and denominator okay then which is the common factor it is 33 and 77 we know that 33 is a multiple of 11 3 into 11 is 33 what about 77 is it a multiple of 11 yes 7 into 11 is 77 so we can say that 11 is a common factor of 33 and 77 so first we can remove that 11 then negative 33 divided by 11 and 77 divided by 11 33 by 11 is 3 here it is negative 33 therefore negative 3 then 77 divided by 11 is 7 negative 3 by 7 this is the standard form of 33 by negative 77 then next question it is negative 45 by negative 105 here the numerator and denominator is negative numerator is negative 45 and denominator is negative 105 if the denominator and neg denominator and numerator is negative then the rational number will be positive okay that we already discussed what is negative and positive rational numbers okay then now it is 45 by 105 now we need to remove the common factor here it is 45 and 105 both the numbers are ending with 5 so we can say that 45 and 105 they are multiples of 5 so we can divide this 45 and 105 by 5 45 divided by 5 and 105 divided by 5 45 divided by 5 is 9 and 105 divided by 5 is 21 okay 9 by 21 and 9 it is a multiple of 3 then what about 21 is it a multiple of 3 7 into 3 is 21 so we can say that both 9 and 21 are multiples of 3 so we can remove 3 from denominator and numerator 9 divided by 3 is 
3 and 21 divided by 3 is 7. 3 by 7. Okay. Then is there any other common factor? 3 and 7 other than 1. 1 is a common factor. Any other common factor? No common factors. So we can say that 3 by 7 is the standard form of negative 45 by 105. Next, 5 by 12. Here the denominator is positive, positive 12. Okay, so we don't want to change the denominator into positive. Okay, it is already positive. Okay, then is there any common factor in the numerator and denominator? No common factors. Okay, 5 and 12. 5 is a odd number and 12 is an even number. 5 is not 12 is sorry 12 is not divisible by 5 okay so there is no common factors other than 1 so the standard form of 5 by 12 is 5 by 12 itself okay Now we can discuss equality of rational numbers. That is how can we check two rational numbers are equal. We know how to find equivalent rational numbers for the given rational number. Now we are going to check if two rational numbers are given are they equal or not. Okay. Equality of rational numbers. equality of rational numbers listen suppose we have given a rational number 2 by 3 how can we find equal rational number for this 2 by 3 we can multiply both the numerator and denominator by same number okay suppose i am multiplying here 2 into 3 and 3 into 3 now it is 6 by 9 Okay, we can say that 2 by 3 is equal to 6 by 9. 2 by 3 equal to 6 by 9. Okay, because we have multiplied both the numerator and the denominator by 3. 2 into 3 is 6, 3 into 3 is 9. Okay, so we can say that this 2 by 3 and 6 by 9, they are equivalent or equal. Okay, suppose we have given two rational numbers 2 by 3 and 6 by 9. Now we need to check are they equal. How can we check? Listen, we need to cross multiply the numerators and denominators. That is we need to multiply the first numerator by the second denominator and first denominator by the second numerator okay that is 2 into 9 and 3 into 6 2 into 9 is 2 into 9 is 18 and 3 into 6 that also 18 okay so the so when we multiplied cross multiply the numerators and the denominators our product is same okay that is 2 into 9 is equal to 3 into 6. Therefore, this 2 by 3 is equal to 6 by 9. Okay, this way we can check the given rational numbers are equal or not. can check next question that is 
is negative 9 by 27 is negative 9 by 27 equal to 6 by negative 18 is negative 9 by 27 equal to 6 by negative 18 okay we need to check the given rational numbers are equal how can we check we need to multiply this negative 9 and the negative 18 negative 9 into negative 18 then 27 into 6 okay we need to check we need to find the product by cross multiplying the numerators and denominators okay negative 9 into negative 18 it is 162 and 27 into 6 listen negative 9 into negative 18 negative into negative it is positive then 27 into 6 that is also 162 okay so negative 9 into negative 18 is 62 and 27 into 6 also 162 okay therefore when we are cross multiplying the numerators and denominator the product is equal so we can say that negative 9 by 27 is equal to 6 by negative 18 okay we can take one more question that is six by seven and fifty four by sixty three. Six by seven and fifty four by sixty three. Okay. So here also we need to cross multiply the numerators and denominators that is we need to check 6 into 63, 7 into 54, 7 into 54 okay then 6 into 63 178, 7 into 54 also equal to 378 so we can say that 6 by 7 6 by 7 is equal to 54 by 63 okay 6 into 63 is 378 and 7 into 54 is also equal to 378 okay. we can say that 6 by 7 is equal to 54 by 63 okay if you are following this method we can check the given rational numbers are equivalent or not and the last part of this chapter is representation of a rational number on the number line how can we represent a rational number on the number line okay first of all we can discuss how can we represent 1 by 2 on the number line? First, we need a number line. Okay, then we will have a starting uh, origin that is 0. Number line means there will be negative and positive numbers. Okay, then in the right side of 0, we need to represent positive numbers, left side negative numbers. Okay, so here 1, 2, and here will be negative 1, negative 2, and the origin that we can represent as O. And the right side of 0, each point we can represent as A, B like that. And to the left, left side of 0, A dash, B dash like that we can represent. Okay, here we need to represent this 1 by 2 on the number line. Listen, this 1 by 2 is a proper fraction. What is a proper fraction? If the denominator is bigger than the numerator, 
if the denominator is bigger than the numerator we can say that it is a proper fraction okay so the denominator is bigger than the numerator that means 1 by 2 means 1 divided by 2 so always the value of a proper fraction will be in between 0 and 1 okay that is 1 1 by 2 means 1 divided by 2 what is 1 divided by 2 it is 0 0.5 okay that means 0 0.5 means in between 0 and 1 so if the numbers are proper fraction that is denominator is bigger than the numerator we have to represent that numbers in between 0 and 1 is that clear if the denominator is bigger than the numerator that its value will be in between 0 and 1 so here we have to represent this 1 by 2 in between 0 and 1 okay and in the denominator here we have 2 in the denominator so this interval that is the interval 0 and 1 we have to divide that interval into 2 we are dividing the interval based on the denominator here the denominator is 2 so we have to divide the, uh, that interval into 2 equal parts if the denominator is 3 we have to divide this into 3 equal parts okay then we have divided this interval into 2 and our question is 1 by 2 we need to represent 1 by 2 so the first part this will be 1 by 2 okay and we can denote that exact point as p if you are denoting that point in left side of 0 we can take it as p dash okay so 1 by 2 means this is the point 1 by 2 okay op represent 1 by 2 and we need to represent 1 by 3 and negative 1 by 3 first of all we have to draw the number line and 0 means O ok 1 by 3 and negative 1 by 3 its value in between 0 and 1 so we need to take positive 1 and negative 1 it is A dash okay then how many divisions we need to make here the denominator is 3 so 3 divisions okay 1 2 3 parts okay and here also 3 parts 1 2 3 parts okay then positive 1 by 3 first part from this 3 that is this point will be 1 by 3 then we can take that point as p and a negative 1 by 3 means this point it is p p representing 1 by 3 and p dash is negative 1 by 3 okay so today we have discussed how to find the standard form of a rational number then how to check two rational numbers are equivalent and the representation of rational numbers on the number line okay and you have to write all this all these concepts in your notebook okay that's all for today thank you